I think if one starts the conversation about business and development with negative presumptions and faulty ideas, one ends up with more and more rules about how business should behave in developing countries. On the other hand, if one starts with a positive approach to business and an appreciation of the risk-taking and precarious nature of companies, this leads to a focus on creating environments in which competitive enterprises can flourish and help build the wealth and social capital that makes nations great. In poorer countries, the problem is not that companies are unethical and exploitative, but that there are too few of them. A few years ago, I had a fellowship in Washington where I wandered around and listened to a lot of people in the policy world and uh, in Washington circles, and it soon became very clear that a good company was one that complied with the ideas and standards, labor, environment, social issues, devised by activists and governments in the world's richest countries, perhaps I should say formerly the richest countries, on how to behave in poorer countries. And you can participate in conversations in London, Brussels, Washington, and New York, and it is totally taken for granted that global standards are a good thing for everybody. Well, nobody wanted to listen to my voice, and they certainly didn't want to listen to much more important voices. Listen to what the ex-president of Mexico had to say. He asks, why is it? that just as goods and services from poorer countries are starting to become globally competitive, rich countries want us to conform to standards that have taken them centuries to reach. Nobody wanted to listen to over 2,000 trade unions in India, or the views of leading economists who put it this way. The alternative to low-paying jobs is not high-paying jobs, but no jobs at all. And my country, which has today one of the highest recorded unemployment rates in the world, is a very good example of this unfortunate truth. Well, all of these experiences led me to write this book and to try and construct a developing country perspective on business and its role in society. 